Let's take a look at the Filmora workspace. Uh, this is a similar workspace even if you're using the older versions like Filmora 9, Filmora 10. So you won't have a problem uh, with the interface. There are just some new stuff in Filmora 11. Like mentioned before, I highly recommend that you guys upgrade to get the best out of this program. So let's take a look at the interface. We're going to cut the interface into three parts, right? We have the long bar right here. This is called the timeline. Any video that you're working with, whether you're trimming it, cutting it, adding an effect to it, they are going to show up here. So as you can see, we have an audio track. So if I put a music here, it's going to show up in the audio tracks. If I have a video, it will be in the video track. If I have an effect, it will be on top of these guys. We'll take a look at how that works in further lessons. So right here is essentially where you get to uh, work with your clips and work with those effects. And then right up here, we have the preview box. Over here, you get to preview your work. Skip through it if you want with these. Pause it, play it, skip through it. And you also have the resolution uh, option here. If your program is running slow and you're not getting smooth playbacks, you may want to lower the resolution so everything works smoothly. And then finally, we have the panel here, which is where you get all the elements from Filmora. So we have My Media, the stuff that you import from your computer, Stock Media, we have Audio, Titles, Transitions, Effects, Elements, and Split Screen. We're going to jump into each one, see what they're for, how you use them, and what's in them. So first of all is My Media. So we have different boxes over here, different folders, and you can see that some of them are full or they have some stuff in them. Some of them are empty. So Project Media are your stuff, things that you import into this particular project. For us, is the untitled one. So you get to see the stuff you've imported. We have shared media. This is the media you've shared or received. And right now we have zero. And then over here, the three other folders are things that are already in Filmora. So we have some sample colors. You will all get this. We have flat colors like this, or we have gradients. Now take a look at this little icon over here. Some of them don't have it. Some of them do. So Essentially, when you have these items, you need to download them before using them. If they don't have it, it means you've already downloaded them, and all you need to do is to press this little plus, and it's going to show up in our timeline. Now, because this is a uh, image, we cannot drag it onto the audio track. I cannot drag it, and it automatically went on the video track. So now you can see instead of the plus, we have this check mark. That means that we have used this image. So if I want to download something, I just need to click once. You want to make sure you're connected to the internet. You can also click and drag these things on top, put them over something to cut them in half, or put it somewhere else like that. So now I have this checker uh, image and we have this really cool gradient. So these are all sample colors. You get to scroll and see which one's suitable for you. And we have sample videos where you get things like the beach, some countdowns, plating food, and other stock footage that you can use. You can get more stock footage in the stock media, which we'll take a look at in a second. And if you want to preview something before adding it on, maybe you want to check and see what's in that clip. You can also double click on that thing. It's gonna download it first, and now I get to see it here. So you can see I haven't uh, put it in my timeline yet, and I'm just looking to see if this is suitable for my project. I can use this guy to move around and see like if I wanna use this clip or not. Again, we have the same download and plus icons. If I press this plus, and by the way, it's going to show up where my time indicator is, which is this guy, this right guy. Let me put it here. If I hit the plus, it's going to show up on the right side of my time indicator. If I bring it in the middle of my gradient 7, press plus again, it goes in between my gradient 7. This is just how it works, and you get to add 
colors and other sorts of media like so. Okay, and then finally we have sample green screens. We're going to get a more in-depth tutorial on green screens, but essentially it's when you get to add certain effects, overlays and such on top of clips. So the reason why they're green is because you get to easily remove the green screen and get the perfect, uh, let's double click, get the perfect outline of your element. In this case, it's this versus animation. And you get to add this on top of your clips. And then finally, we have the photos library. This is related to your computer. Uh, for Mac, we have the photos library. For Windows, we don't have this particular folder, but it's basically anything on your iCloud. Let's move on to the next panel, which is stock media. As the name suggests, you get the, let me delete these. You get different, a lot of options actually on things like Giphy, so these are all GIFs. They're labeled here. We have stickers, as you can see, pretty cool. You get to search for a certain thing. Let me look for cake. There we go, really cool and cute animations. Again, we're finding the download icon and the plus icon, meaning that I can add this on top of my clip. Let's go ahead and get a random video. I'll get this beach video, there we go. And now I want to add this cake sticker on top. I'm going to hit plus. Let me hit Z first, control Z. Uh, because I want it to be on top of my beach video. As you can see, I don't really have a, another space up here. I need to make that space. You can do that by simply going to this plus, add video. And I can drag my cake sticker over here. It's pretty thin. And there we go. There is my cake video on top of my beach video. Pretty cool. So let's delete that. Apart from these uh, GIFs and stickers, we have Pixabay, which is a popular stock uh, platform. You get really high quality video and photos. You can see they're pretty cool. And by the way, if you're not happy with the size of the thumbnails, you get to change it over here. View, large view or small view. You get to download and put them on. If you put your cursor over it, it's going to show a, show you a quick preview. We have the same thing for photos. These were video. For photos, really cool stuff over here. You can search for, let's look for doll maybe. And I'm going to get doll images. We then have Unsplash. Unsplash is just for photos. We don't really have a video option here. So you will only get high resolution photos. In Pixabay, you get images, vectors, and videos. So depending on what you want, you would come in stock media and get them. Now, whatever you download will show up in your downloads tab. The cake we downloaded earlier, it's going to show up here. If you look at the top right, we have a heart. This allows me to mark something and put it in my favorites tab. Right now I clicked it once and now this is in my favorites. Let me just go ahead and download something and then we can see how it is. So it's telling me that you're going to download it. It's going to show me the bar. And now I'm going to have two items in my download, but I only liked one of these. And if I go in my favorite, that's the only one that's showing up. So let's go to the next panel. It's, uh, this is pretty similar to the stock media panel, except this time it's for audio, sound effects, and soundtracks such as uh, upbeat music, rap music, anything you want. These are all free to use. They're provided by Filmstock or Filmora's platform. And again, you have the favorite panel and the download icon right here. They're separated into categories. If you want rock music, you can come here, download them and drag them on your clip. Let's go ahead and download one of these. I'm going to drag it right here underneath my video. And now I have an audio track. And just like videos, uh, you get to trim your audio. So if you can see, there's a scissor icon right here. I'm going to drag it up here so we can see. If I hit the scissor, we have trimmed the audio into two. You can do that as much as you want. Trim and maybe delete half of it if you want. We have the same thing for titles. So titles are text that you can add on top of your clips. We have headers, uh, openers, lower thirds, subtitles, end credits. 
and so much more. Of course, the titles are customizable, meaning that you can just drag one on top. It will go in the video uh, tab. And then you can just double click and write your own text. Let's write hi. Now we're going to take a deeper look into all of these. So we're just taking a quick look at each one. We're currently on the default tab, which is the stuff you see right here. And then we have another thing for our film stock. And we have these really awesome uh, text. We have the basics, we have festivals and events, and we have some really cool stuff for birthdays and such. They're all categorized, so that makes your selection a lot easier. You can always search for something. We have the recommended uh, items. Now here we have another icon that we didn't have previously, and that's this diamond icon. So these things are uh, elements that you need to pay for. They're not free to use like the ones in the default tab. You see, we don't have the diamond here, but on Filmstock, you have this diamond. And if I were to download this, apply it onto my thing, I'm seeing the message. You're using a paid effect and plugins for Filmora. Click buy now or try it before exporting. So you get to try it, see how you like it, and then export it. Let's have a look at one of these items. You can see how cool that is. Double click on the text, write your own thing, customize it to the way you like. And the animations are still going to be there. You can filter for the free ones if you don't want to use the diamond ones, or you can use the uh, diamond ones, or all if you want. We then have the transitions. These are things that connect two clips together. Let's go ahead and delete the stuff. I'm going to get another video so we can see what a transition is. Drag this right here. I'm going to go over here and just expand my timeline. You can also use this plus and minus thing. Just go over here. Put your time indicator here and then you can zoom in without going all the way there. Let's go to the transitions tab and we have animations that allow us to go from video A to video B in a creative manner. So we have things like a fade, let's drag this on top. There we go. And if I play this back, my video fades to black and then I get video B. So instead of suddenly just jumping from video A to B, we get a creative look. Again, we have the default things, like simple roll, like that. And again, we have the film stock, which is where you get, I guess, cooler things in terms of animation. We have the diamond, and I'm just gonna get something random here. Add that in between, let's try it. Play this back, and there we go. So immediately that makes my video a lot more interesting. And you can just come to the transitions and make the uh, jumps more interesting. You can always search for things, filter through the free and standard. We also have the thumbnail view. You can view them here. And then you can sort by name, sorry, new name category, ascending, descending. We then have the effects panel. This is where you get to add certain effects on your clips. We're going to learn more about this panel. It's a lot, but uh, essentially you get to add a certain effect on top of your video. It's like an overlay. We're going to see what that means. Put it right up here. And now I have this ring thing on top of my video. A really cool thing which is without the video so you can just put it on a black screen as well and that's what the effects are now they're not always things like this things that cover your screen completely we have some things like glitch let's download one add that on my beach video and we have a glitching beach footage and i'm just going to lower the resolution so we get a smooth playback there we go. So you get to just jump through each one of these categories and see what works best for you. The elements tab, which like the name says, is just 
items that you can place on top of your clips or text or whatever. They're animated, pretty cool. And you get to double click on them and just maybe move them around, resize them, put them into corner. And we have some other options that we will get into later. Uh, emojis, game related things, AR things, and we can just go in each of these ones and look for items that are suitable for our clips. And finally, we have the split screen. And for this, I'm going to delete these two clips first. I'm going to add Apple style right here. As you can see, we have this green thing and in here we have one and two. So to add videos, I need to go somewhere where I have videos, click and drag it onto each one. So number one, I want the beach video. Number two, I want my cherry blossom video. And now I have the two clips playing at the same time in an interesting frame. So you can click on the uh, video, zoom it out if you want, zoom in if you want to. Like this chair blossom is way too zoomed in, so let's just go back. All right, so you can add uh, videos or uh, images, whichever works for you. So this was a quick overview of the interface. In the further lessons, we're going to get more details about each of the tools and each of the panels. We're also going to practice together so that way you get to learn and practice at the same time. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.